<laughs> so guys, we currently have sheep in our field next to our house. This is our field um, because, excuse Nico, um, the local farmer, oh my goodness, is helping us to mow our lawn because it's so long you can't actually mow it. Anyway, the sheep are the bravest sheep I've ever met. They come up to the fence themselves and like headbutt the dog. Nico! Nico! No! Nico is kept on lead because she barks aggressively at them. Oh, oh my god! Like, have you ever met a sheep like this? They've been here for nearly a week now and they're just getting really brave and coming up to like when they're not near the fence and they're not putting the head through the fence the dogs don't care about them but they're like almost tormenting the dogs by coming up to the fence and I thought sheep were really scared and you know it's not that a dog could harm a sheep as in attack it it's that the fear in the sheep kills the sheep not being attacked it's it gets it gets scared to death that's what I thought happened if you have a dog off lead near sheep so anyway we're really careful and we've been having them you know if i'm not out in the garden the dogs are on lead in our garden just in case because the plan is to put like wire behind this so they can't get through not that they i think they're too big to get through but you never know Anyway, my mind is just blown. But they're doing a good job in the field. Look, let me show you. They've got all of this so far. Obviously, got it started looking just like this with all the big grass mounds. They've flattened all of this. So it's getting to the point where we can actually see what we've got. But how many sheep do we have? Two? I should have done a count, to be fair. We could go two, four, six, nine sheep, I think, in the field and yeah once they've got on top of it they'll go back into their field which is there's two fences there and there's going to be a boundary of trees there eventually um and they'll go back into their field and then we'll start i think we have to dig all of this up because you see like the darker grass that is not grazing and there's a lot of it so we need to dig all this up eventually get it all to like a mud and then reseed and then it's ready for more like grazing stock for our own animals i think anyway but the farmer's going to give us some help on what we need to do to make it a better paddock for them but for now we have sheep You ready? Should we go inside now? For a little bit, have a break, since these sheep are being so brave. Yeah, coming in. Say bye sheep. I'm going inside now, so you're coming in. I'm just gonna show you Nico, because I'm conscious she's been kept on lead, and I know people are gonna think I'm cruel, but you've seen how Teddy and Phil are with the sheep. She is much worse. Um, my eyes are in all over the place at the minute. She just really is quite aggressive with them, which is why she's not over there with them right now we've just climbed over the fence go on you go Don't, i'll scare them because i'm big a scary van here it's not we scary here. hey hey wait for me i wait here Pick me up here. Yeah. No, come on. Good girl. That's it. That, that, that not skin. That not, that one not. Let's go. 
I'm gonna sit here. Okay. If he'll let you. Maybe if you wait, they'll come to you. If you just stand still and hold your hand out, maybe he'll come to you. Why not come to me? You have to be patient. Hello, sheep. What did you say? There's poo here. There's poo everywhere. Sheep poo everywhere. Yeah. We don't stand in them. No, we shouldn't stand in sheep poo. Pick me up. So stand in poo, okay? Please. Okay, there's poo here. You have to pick it up. Milo is currently in the field of sheep. Hold on. 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 Hold on.